I'm excited about the group, uh, but I'm sure everybody is this time of year. It's good to kind of learn without consequence and teach and get to know one another and standards of expectation and those are some of the things that we've been focused on. The Pittsburgh Steelers are of course one of the teams that made a lot of noise in the offseason completely changing up their quarterback room and now all of a sudden this is one of the more anticipated upcoming seasons for this team in quite some time. They've always been successful under Mike Tomlin but people are tired of the 9-8 and mediocrity. They want a playoff run or to rebuild. And I've already talked about everything to expect for 2024 in a lot of other videos, but in this one, I want to talk about what under the radar players and draft picks could break out onto the scene that nobody is talking about. But first, before I begin, I would really appreciate it if you would drop a like and subscribe. It only takes 5 seconds, plus you can always change your mind. We are on the road to 30k subscribers, and with your support, I believe we can get there super fast. So starting off, I'm not talking about these players in any specific order, but the first guy I think could break out in 2020 is Keanu Benton. In the second round of their spectacular 2023 draft, Pittsburgh landed two key pieces of their defense. The first was Joey Porter Jr., who was already their top cornerback and was among the league's best cover corners last year. Defensive tackle Keanu Benton was their other second round pick last year, and he doesn't get enough attention. Benton was very productive as a rookie, despite playing less than half of the Steelers' defensive snaps. His role will expand in 2024, which means his impact will too. While playing 43% of snaps, Benton was able to rack up 36 tackles, 8 quarterback hits, 9 pressures, 2 deflected passes, and a sack as a rookie. Statistically, he was productive, but Benton's impact goes beyond the stats. He was very disruptive both as a pass rusher and a run stopper. Pittsburgh's defensive line is among the league's best, which means if Benton is double teamed on the interior, TJ Watt and Alex Highsmith will make plays at will from the edge. And if Benton is left one on one, he will get home consistently. Look for Benton to play a much bigger role in 2024 and look for his production to climb as a result. Here are some of the highlights and what people have to say about this guy. Under pressure and sack. Late blitz coming. Keanu Bitten, the talented freshman. Hand usage, pad level, athletic, and he plays so hard. He is always chasing down screens, draws. I love watching him play, bro. He, like, big young dudes that run to the ball like that, man, is special because you typically don't get that. The Steelers know how to coach up defensive line, and I'm pretty sure Benton's going to be the next great defensive lineman that the Pittsburgh Steelers have ultimately found. To me, Benton looks very, very, very solid, and you can see so many flashes on tape. Next up, Nick Herbig certainly showed a lot of promise in his limited snaps as a rookie. His productivity per snap is quite impressive, especially considering the high bar set by teammates like TJ Watt and Alex Highsmith. With an expanded role in 2024, Herbig is poised to build on his strong rookie campaign. Being the third edge rusher on a depth chart will give him more opportunities to make an impact and his previous performance suggests he can capitalize on those chances. The Steelers coaching staff really increased confidence in that Herbig could lead to more strategic rest for Watt and Highsmith, allowing Herbig to showcase his skills even more. If he can maintain his per snap efficiency with increased playing time, he could indeed become a breakout star for Pittsburgh's defense. Here is the breakdown on him. When you put the tape on of Nick Herbig, the guy flashes right away and it's very clear this is a good football player in the NFL. Petrus set to throw for the first time. He's pressured and he is down. Nick Herbig getting in there. Pressure coming. Ball's on the ground. Wisconsin recovers. Yeah, I, I think the first one that I'm going to lead with is one that I, I don't know if he's very much of a sleeper. Um, I mean, I didn't notice him for the first couple weeks of OTAs very much, but Nick Herbig looked awesome this week. Um, yeah. Like, I think uh, it's, you know, if this guy was on any other team, I think he'd be a star. If he wasn't sitting behind Alex Highsmith and TJ Watt, I think we'd hear a lot more about him. Um, and I think he's in, in line for a big year. I'm not going to lie to you, man. After going down there to the OTAs, seeing uh, young Herbig out there, man, he looks good. 
Moving on, Pat Fryermuth is definitely a strong candidate to have a breakout season as well. With a shift in offensive strategy under Russell Wilson and Arthur Smith, the middle of the field is likely to see more action. This could significantly boost Fryermuth's production, especially considering Kenny Pickett's previous tendency to avoid those areas. His potential is further amplified by the lack of a strong number two wide receiver to complement George Pickens. This situation could lead to Pat becoming a primary target, increasing his opportunities. If the Steelers' offensive strategy aligns as expected, he could indeed have his most productive season yet. Here are some of his highlights. Organization, seven years as the DC. Trickery. Back for Trubisky. Open man caught Fryermuth. He's stepping up. Free play opportunity. Trubisky stops and throws against the grain. Gums man, Fryermuth. The third player on this list from the Steelers' 2023 rookie class, their hiring of Arthur Smith and the offseason roster moves leave no secret. Pittsburgh wants to run the ball frequently and effectively this year. Insert Washington, who is basically an offensive tackle who can catch passes, a better blocker than Fryermuth, Washington's snap count will increase in his second season. Though most of his snaps will come on running plays, but being on the field more should increase Washington's targets too, particularly in the red zone. I just think Russell Wilson will feel comfortable looking Washington's way. Here's the highlights and breakdown of him. The 11th, so a gain of three for McIntosh. After the fake, in the flat, it is the enormous tight end, Darnell Washington. Another guy I haven't really talked about yet that the Steelers brought in is Justin Fields. I'm not saying he's a breakout candidate because we all already know who he is, but Mike Tomlin and the Steelers are sort of planning to treat him like a rookie. But Mike Tomlin and the Steelers are sort of planning to treat him like a rookie and start from scratch, which could help him redevelop into the player everyone thinks he can be. And sitting behind Russell Wilson for a little bit will definitely help him learn a lot, and I think he can come in during certain situations to help the team out. Overall, it's going to be interesting to see how things actually transpire on the field, because right now, there is just so much talk and so much anticipation about what could possibly happen. So let me know in the comments below what you think about this team as we start to get close to training camp and then the opener. That's all I got for this one. Thank you all so much if you made it to this point, and if you enjoyed and haven't yet, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe, because your support truly does mean the world world. And also, let me know what you would like to see next, and until then, I will see you all later.